are all sitting very, very quietly and looking at something very, very interesting in the school hall. What's Mr. Moore doing? said Noddy. Don't ask me, said the Christmas tree. Do you think he's feeling all right? said the lion. He's certainly engrossed in what he's doing. He's been at it for hours, said Mr. Paul the Knitted. And indeed he had. Mr. Moore worked all day and all through the night. Mr. Paul the Knitted and Noddy got up very, very early the next morning and rushed off to school to see the lovely clean floor in the school hall. The two friends were in for a real surprise. What on earth? I can't believe my eyes, said Noddy. It really does beg a belief, said Mr. Paul the Knitted. And do you know what they saw? Yes, Mr. Moore was still hard at it. He'd hardly done anything, not even a square metre. The two friends were absolutely flabbergasted. What on earth are we going to do? said Noddy. Don't worry, said Mr. Paul, who was military trained and had a black belt in karate. I'm going straight off to see Mr. Woodbridge. And so, without further ado, armed only with a custard pie, a carrot, a banana, and a string of sausages round his neck, set off for Mr. Woodbridge's office. Mr. Woodbridge! Mr. Woodbridge! I think we have a problem, Mr. Woodbridge. It's Mr. Moore. Now, come on, Mr. Woodbridge, I know you're in there. After telling Mr. Woodbridge all about what had happened in the school hall with Mr. Moore, the two chums went down to Brig House to the Old Ship Inn for a few well-earned pints of beer. Mmm, I'm really looking forward to this pint, said Mr. Paul the Knitted. Yes, I'm certainly very thirsty now, said Noddy, said Noddy. There you go, gentlemen. Mr. Paul the Knitted licked his lips. Mmm, that looks jolly good, he said. Yes, I'm really going to enjoy this now, said Noddy. There's only two of you. Where's Mr. Moore? <laughs> He's still at school, said the two chums together. And indeed he was, on his knees, scratching away at the floor, trying to make it nice and clean. But not to worry, because Mr. Woodbridge was there with him, giving him lots and lots of moral support. Brian, Brian, what are you doing? <coughs> that wasn't a mistake, was it, Brian? Is it coming up, Brian? <laughs>